Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode five with our series here. We'll go ahead and jump right into it. There's a lot of changes that have happened. Um, oh, ooh, immediately free G. Oh, viewing it. Uh, short video. Ah, uh, I gotta decline it. I've been watching watching the ads on my free time, so I've gained up a lot of Genesis points, and occasionally gotta let them go. And I'm not gonna watch ads. Wolves were. Um, not gonna watch. Ads was you guys are trying to enjoy the video here um, just so I can get three Genesis points because sometimes the ads are long sometimes they're like 45 seconds to a minute and you have to watch the whole thing to get the point so I'll just uh, pass by that but yeah here we are a lot has changed we've gone up in years a lot but I actually um, have been letting the game run in the background on my computer for the most part and I haven't intervened too much because I um, I've just been really busy lately and I haven't had a chance to really jump in and do a lot but we can take a look and see what things are doing, especially because we're still waiting on heat to go down. I'm just letting that naturally go down with the atmosphere thinning because as we bring the pressure down, which you can see we're almost down to 6.5 million. Now, as the pressure goes down, we'll see that atmosphere thin naturally. So I'm just going to let that naturally thin as far as it can before I try to intervene because there's a lot there still. And then, uh, yeah, just lowering that pressure slowly, bringing it down. We had fissure vents open up and carbon fixer that's producing um, some pressure. So that did that there for us. And the oxygen here, we're increasing it by eight. I've gone ahead and done a few things here that have uh, kind of offset it, but we've got hab domes that are setting up now. So it's going up plus eight. We'll have to get ready to be in a position to offset that once it hits the 210,000 parts per million goal. But uh, we can think that through as the time comes. And then water, as the, uh, there's vapor in the atmosphere, and that's increasing. But you can see that it's literally just burning off as it's it's increasing because of the heat level and because of the um, the hab domes are doing it. The heat level and the um pressure levels and we've actually got to be careful because we've already got 159,000 in the atmosphere and it's just going to keep going in the atmosphere and then once the heat and pressure goes down that's all going to rain down on us and uh, if it ends up being more than 300,000 that's going to be too high so we'll have to figure out a way to offset that if it happens and go ahead and check out the colony here I put hab domes in both of these it's just a matter of waiting for them to actually fill up the space and eventually I'll probably get rid of this hab. No, I'll probably keep the hab unit, but maybe eventually get rid of it. But yeah, we've got these here. We could upgrade these. It would do minus 60 pressure and bring the oxygen up a little bit quicker, which isn't a bad idea, but that plus eight oxygen is pretty nice, keeping it right at that level because it's so fast to be able to jump in and turn that down. Um, I could actually disable this if I wanted to have a rapid increase in oxygen. I'm almost better off making the, what I'm actually almost better off doing is disabling this so I can get a lot more oxygen and then going into here and doing an O2 filter and then upgrading that O2 filter to plus eight. And then when uh, the oxygen's where it needs to be, I can just enable that again. And then that'll stabilize our oxygen levels. So that'll work pretty well for us. I'm not gonna upgrade these hab domes because I don't need to upgrade the hab domes. They're fine just the way they are, but I do wanna get something that's gonna bring population in. And I have gone ahead and I've got transit network, but I wanna get spaceport. Where am I with spaceport right now? I thought I was researching that. I am. So I've got five more hours and 16 minutes. Boy, I didn't think. Thought I would have had it by now. I've got five more hours and 16 minutes until we have a uh, spaceport, which is good. So I'll probably put spaceport up. That's going to give us plus 10 pressure. Not worried about that because we're already offsetting the pressure. That's been something we've been working on. Crap, another one. Nah, that's six Genesis points I've missed off on. Um, okay, taking a look at our outpost here. It's doing really good. I've actually had this one rhodium area that's just been perfect for like building on over and over again oh level one hab complex the venus is showing it in seconds are you kidding me which one level one hab complex the hab dome and the hab unit so we actually lost the hab complex and it i guess it's not a big deal that's why i'm switching over to the hab domes because they're going to hold up a lot better 
Um, once we get the spaceport, we can build our satellite. We can only build the one satellite, but it'll still help. Uh, we don't need to bother finding a new outpost because we've got tons of credits that we really don't know what to spend them on yet. I could make more hab domes. Just give us more oxygen and more water. There's not really a whole lot of a reason to do that because water's already going to be out of control here shortly. I may need to figure out a way to slow this down. If I get too much vapor in the atmosphere, it's eventually going to rain back down onto Venus and it's going to be higher than 300,000. We're going to drown a bunch of stuff out. Um, so I might, got, I might need to start thinking of a way we're going to we're going to cut that back. I thought I had an idea. Where was it? Let's see. Water. We could do the electrolysis plant. The ice launcher because the minus 10 pressure. Um, that's a lot though. New Hope is buzzing with rumors that a person, never clearly glimpsed but definitely humanoid, was seen walking freely on the surface without protection. A local legend is developed about the so-called hiker, a reclusive human, or even alien surviving alone on the surface of Venus. Oh, well, I highly doubt it. The geocistern wouldn't be enough. We'd have to do the electrolysis plant here. We get the... Minus 40 water for both hab domes. Plus 10 oxygen. The oxygen will be cut off by... I'm building another O2 filter, but I probably don't have to. Now, if I end up going for that. I probably don't have to to offset the minus 8. That might be a better way to do it. Minus 8, if I build that, it'll be... Plus two for oxygen, which I can offset. Or better yet, I do build the O2 filter, get that, and then I upgrade the O2 filter to cancel both out. That's probably a better idea, actually. So I'll start researching towards that once... It makes sense. As soon as I get the spaceport, actually, I'll start going for the geocistern. So that'll help us cancel out the water. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. The heat, like I said, heat, I'm not going to have to do anything. Once the atmosphere is thinned, um, this should go down to where I need it eventually. It's just going to take a long time to do that. And the pressures should be pretty good here shortly. I could upgrade the biofixture labs or build another one. If I wanted to speed it up. If I upgrade it, it's 60 and 5. 5 is a tough number to work with because the O2 filter works in groups of 2. So I'd have to upgrade two of these to make it work. So what I could do, if I do want to do that, is I'm building another O2 filter. I could actually enable this O2 filter again. That's plus eight for oxygen. No, it's minus two, why? Because I lost the HAB complex. Oh, interesting. That's a good point. Lost the HAB complex, so I lost plus 10, which is fine. If that's the case, and it's now minus 2. If I upgrade both of these, it's plus 8. And then the O2 filter I'm building can cancel that out eventually. Okay. So I'll go ahead and upgrade two of those. And then eventually, if that's increased oxygen levels, increased oxygen, and I keep increasing oxygen, what decreases oxygen? The carbon fixer, another one if we wanted to.
that increases oxygen. I needed things that decrease oxygen. The spaceport increases pressure. That don't matter. Transit network decreases oxygen. Okay. Um, a powerful radio host in New Hope has begun promoting a powerfully anti-intellectual message, convincing people not to trust science and modern medicine. We could launch a campaign to educate the public before this attitude becomes a feature of the local culture, but doing so will cost a lot of credits. Um, sure, I guess. We got lots of credits, so we'll have even more when I log back on. Ooh, we'll go ahead and spend a culture point, too. That puts us pretty close to victory. What's that actually put us at? 40%. Nice. Almost halfway there. Okay, so I think we've done everything we can. It's going to continue to evolve over the course of the next few episodes. I'll actually be recording a couple episodes a little more back to back, um, just so we can see it evolve quicker. Now that there's going to be there wasn't a lot happening at first because I was mainly waiting to research a lot of things, but um, we've got some space available in these areas, and we've got uh, a lot of researches coming with the spaceport and things coming down the pipeline. So we'll probably have a couple back to back episodes, sort of. Just show me building all of these things. And I want you guys to be able to see me sort of canceling things out so it makes sense on what I'm doing. Because I'm kind of talking about how I'm going to balance it all and make it work. So eventually when we hit that perfect green point for everything, I can just turn things, disable things and enable things to bring all these to zero and stop us. So we don't end up in a situation like I did with Mars where the planet just kind of like folded in half halfway through because I had solar flares. So we'll just kind of work it from there. But we're going to keep letting the atmosphere thin itself. We're going to keep reducing pressure. We're going to keep raising oxygen, but start setting up the plan really quickly to cancel that. And we're going to start putting ourselves in a position to stop water because we don't want this vapor in the atmosphere to get out of control. So we'll start researching that as soon as I got the spaceport. So we've got a game plan. I want to thank you all for joining me for this episode. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.